according to multi reports oriol romeo is a replace for sergio buskic but my question is is romeo really the replace for sergio buskic of course not no one can replace the greatest dm in football history but is a lama as he approached it is he was a barca before about 12 years ago he never really had the chance he went to chelsea played for valencia he played for Southampton. has he got better as a player of course he did 31 years old he got a barca style of football on his blood but it's not the player that we all want let's be real in here he's not the player that we all want but with the money problem barcelona is going through right now it's not easy to get a top dm like i said there's not going to be no one to replace Busquets. with Busquets quality they, I don't think there will ever be a player like Biscuits again. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, and I've said this in a few of my videos. I'm not a big fan of Oriol Romeo, but he's not that bad. I think he can do the job. Completely different player than Sergio Busquets. Obviously, he hasn't got Busquets to brain, but he can do the job. And. Um, Chavi likes him, Chavi wants him, so Chavi knows. But this is another question for all the Barca fans. Like I've said, is is he may not be the player that we all want, of course not. Let's be real in here. We want like a Kimmich, a Rodri, but we know that's almost impossible. With the um, situation that Barcelona is going through, it's almost impossible to get a top DM. With Oriol Romeo, obviously the time he was out from Barca. Let's not forget, he's, he's a product from La Masia. He came from La Masia. Like Laporte said in a recent interview to Mono de Deportivo, he, he knows Barca style of football, right? He's not the best footballer on the ball, but he can do the job. And whenever the team needs, to do, let's say, to do the, a little bit of dirty job, he can do that also. Like I said, I'm not fond of him, but he's not bad overall. I think he can do the job. Obviously, he's going to have players next to him like Pedri, Gunnigan now, Frankie De Hong, Gavi as well. So it will help, always help when you're around top players. You will only become better. The time he was away, his time at Southampton was actually good. He did well for Southampton. He was very young when he left Barca. He went to Chelsea. Then um, Chelsea, I think, sent him on loan. This was about, what, 10 years ago? And then he came back to Chelsea. And then, um, he, he, like I said, his time with Southampton was quite good. But, look, as a Barca fan, we just have to stick with him. We just have to be behind a player and support a player. Will he do well at Barca? I, he can do well. I think he can do well at Barca. And um, and I think he will do well. When you look at him right now, 31 years, um, uh, 31 years old now, basically, let's say he's on his prime, he probably have another two or three seasons left. Just a motivation if he's mentally prepared. Obviously, he's coming back to Barca. It's not the same. If he's mentally prepared, he's probably going to have the pressure to replace Busquets. We're not going to put pressure on him as Barca fans. We're not going to put that kind of pressure that, you know, I, I'm not going to, as a Barca fan, I'm not going to expect him to be Busquets, to do what Busquets did. Of course not. That's impossible. But we just have to stay behind the player and I think he's going to do well if he's mentally prepared and I'm sure he will be he's excited to come back almost what after 12 13 years and um, yeah I think he's going to do well but like I said according to the media I'm going to share my screen right now so you guys can see 
there's been positive feelings around Romeo. There's serious negotiations between, you know, going between Barca and Girona. The price would be about, this is where it becomes a bit like a trick one because, you know, Girona is asking for whatever, five, six million plus they want two young players like Nico and Pablo Toro to be on loan. And um, it just is different from multi-report. But he will be a Barca player. It's only a matter of time right now. In the next few hours, you know, this was from yesterday, that Romeo will be a Vlaograna. So it will not take long for him to be announced as a new Barcelona player. Obviously, what is stopping Barcelona to announce him as a new player basically is with this loan that Girona wants, Pablo Toro, and also, as I've just mentioned in here, with Nico as well. So let's see what's going to happen. But uh, will Barcelona send Pablo Torre and Nico Gonzalez to loan players? I don't know. We don't know what is going to happen. So let's see in the next few days. But like I said, and I'm going to share a picture right now in here when he used to play for Barca, when he was... Once up a time, he was a Blaugrana. We know he's a La Masia footballer. So, look, like I said, he's non Busquets, but he can do well. Let's stay behind and support him. Is he a good signing? It's tough to say. Like I said, I'm not far of him, but I think he's going to do well. I think... He's a clever sign, and when you actually think, when you look at Barcelona, um, money situation as well. Bringing a player who knows the style of football, he's like I said, he was he's a, a La Masia product. So, yeah, he's a clever sign, and, and I think he's going to do well. And as, as a Barca fan, let's support. But people, I want you to let me know your thoughts about this. I'm giving my thoughts. I want you to let me know your thoughts. Drop your comment in a chat. And then, obviously, I will reply to you guys. And um, welcome for another video. As always, plenty of videos to come up. There's a lot going on. It's similar transfer. I keep saying I've only just started. It's been a few weeks. But there's plenty of things that's going to happen. Like, as always, for Bruce Romano says, and here we go. can happen anytime. It doesn't matter if you're asleep or not. It can happen anytime. But, yeah, remember, as always, if you enjoyed this video support the channel by just like if you're new to the channel subscribe and i cannot thank you guys enough it's been an amazing journey so far just over one year and i will see you guys on the next video and as a barca fan look i will always wish any player the best but oriel romeo is gonna do well my boy vamos visca barca oye mañana siempre i'll see you guys in the next video thank you